Hello and welcome. I'm going to do a tutorial for a paperclip motor. You'll need the paperclip. I bought 40mm one. These are a bit thicker than the one, ones I used here. Well, it looks a bit anyway. So, and a few maybe 25mm, uh, which are a bit thinner than these. These are just for odds and ends. You'll need a battery holder you need batteries so whichever size batteries of course you're using you have to use find a holder for that this is a, a couple of 12 volts in here and a few 1.5 volts you need a bobbin to wrap this now in the, previously I made uh, wrapped it around a straw and made it, it made a lot of hard work but this will be easier for us just to use one of these bobbins for that you'll need some card for, for this part here and I'm using this steel to make the wheel around it. So if you haven't got a steel, obviously you just do your best. Now, the other thing you can do, if you don't want to um, make a, a wheel, you can use a, what they call a keychain. Now, there are some keychains which are quite large, and that's the easy way out if you want to do that. Okay, obviously you'll need soldering iron, you'll need glue gun, you'll need super glue. Uh, or Araldite, whichever you prefer, and some wire. This is a um, uh, telephone wire. I'm using this one, but if you got a thinner one, fine. I've got a magnet, 3mm by 3mm. I've also got a magnet, 5mm by 3mm. Okay, as for the, the, the wire, I'm going to use one of these 12 volt relays. Uh, from a car and I'm going to open one up and use the wire out of that. Okay, the relay has been taken apart as you can see. Come up in bits and this is what we got. We got a coil of wire. Okay, we're going to wind it on a bobbin. I made one of these um, things just to hold the bobbin onto there like that. Pretty firm. That will go into there, into the chuck. The, the coil of wire, what I've done is I've made a very quick something, put the coil of wire on there so that it can roll off easier in theory. See how that goes. I have burned the insulation off the end of this wire and cleaned it. Because I do not know how many turns it is, I have an idea it needs to be about 29 ohms in resistance to 30 ohms. So I'm just going to wind a few, test the resistance, wind a few. This is the coil round and I've tested it, soldered it. Just going to check the resistance. And this one I've got about 31.8, not bad. It's supposed to really be about 30, 28, 29, but it should be okay. Should work in theory. There you go. I was going to use super glue, but I decided to use arrow light. I think it's better. Anyway. Just going to put it onto this card. 
leave it to dry now and then I'm going to clean this hole out there so the piston can go through there this is the um, little bit of a diagram we're going to work off by but um, you can design your own to whatever size you want we made some paper clips straighten them out a bit uh, best you can what we well this is a 3.5 centi centimeter there and 3.5 centimeters so I made it to the exact size kind of thing okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to make the base remember you can make the base whatever size you want I'm going to start it off like this so this will be like that Because I made made this um, same side, I could follow the drawing. More or less right. Okay. The next thing is obviously I'll get another piece of fabric, um, cut it there, and sew all that together there. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this one. Um, this is two centimeters there and there, but we're going to make the loop first. What I've decided to do is sometimes I use um, just another paper clip like this, put it in there and pin around it. Sometimes I use a nail. This time I would like to use a nail. And you take this paper clip. You open up right. We're going to use this bend to help us make make uh, this actual bend here. I'm trying to keep it flattish before I go around. What I've done is where that hole is, I put this through the nail and then I just bent it round to have the shape should be about there. And then you hold that. Okay, this exact is uh, the pain, but roughly it's okay to something like that. Obviously, I'm going to chop these off here. Um, So there you have your two, two stands for the wheel. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to make these ones here. Okay, as you can see that these paper clips are smaller than my original paper clips, and these are like these are like quite a little bit bigger, so I could actually bit make a bend there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this obviously smaller. Just to make that little bend down there to hold this piece together shouldn't shouldn't matter that much. I'm just doing the base, and what I've done is obviously I've got to connect these two together. And what I've done, I put a thin wire wrapped it down there, 
which came off this um, very thin one, one of these strands I wrapped it around it to strengthen this because I know that later on this is going to come off if I don't strengthen it right now And now I'm going to do the, op the opposite side. Just wrap a bit of wire around it. I don't know if you can see, but what I've done, I cut out from the thin paper clip these little angles, and I'm going to stick them on the edges there. And there's one on there as well. Okay, so I've soldered these just there and that one too and if you're wondering what that's for that's to remember this coil that's to hold the coil in I found in the old days I was gluing it and gluing it gluing it and gluing it and then I thought you know I'll redesign this so what you do just you will slide it straight in like that I'm going to put this on next that way what I've done here is I've soldered one side of these two and I put them on top so it gives it a bit more height that way I've only soldered one side because I want to check something if I put a rod through there like that then I want to make sure that a it's it's kind of straight and B um, it's kind of level so I could adjust this leg here to make sure that that rod is straightish and then I'll solder these two together, making sure that more or less straight, it won't be 100%. Okay, well this is soldered. I know my soldering is not that brilliant. But it's there. Give me a close-up look for it. Okay. okay, so this is where we are. Um, all soldered all the way around. These are going that way and you can see that that is set on the same same side as there and that's it. Now the was it now will slide slide through there. I'm going to use a thinner gauge paper clip here to make part of the piston here. So this is it. I think for this one I'm going to use a thicker, thicker gauge, a thick paper clip. If I can do it, proving to be difficult. There we go. Okay, I made, um, I made this up like that. So. 
what I'm going to do is cut it so you can see that and uh, try and cut pieces off when I'm done, I don't know if you can see that well, just made that you can see right so I made these little things and what what I'm what I'm doing is the way I've done this is I put this on there and I hook it onto it there can you see there so this doesn't move out and I'm obviously I'm gonna put another one on this side and just push into a bottle top like this and then use your pliers to to help you but if you've got a smaller one of these it's even better I haven't
maybe but should do the trick in theory. Can you see? That'll do for me. Okay, I'm going to uh, fix my battery holder. I found something with this one. There's a hole on the side there. And if you, if I twist a paper clip like that, um, well, I'll just do it this way. I can actually put this battery holder like this, flat, flat like that, onto there. So I'm going to solder this on there and slide my battery holder on and I can even glue it on a little bit to just support it. What I've done now is I've soldered the paper clip on here and glued it down with this on. If you can see the paper clip running inside of this battery holder and it's firmly in there. I've also took uh, a wire from the negative and glued it onto, sorry, soldered it onto the, the paper clip there. What happened is that this made a bad contact, so I actually soldered it inside the spring here, and soldered it there. Right, the other side's obviously going to go to the coil. I've cut this down so that, um, and, and I got the nail which I cut down which will be the piston and this is the um, uh, sleeve off a wire and I'll just bring that on like that so that will be my piston so I can adjust it how I need it to also these two must not touch that's why I have put the sleeving on okay once it's dry you make the hole there obviously and then goes inside here this is very long but you can cut some of it off I'm leaving a bit to adjust it where I want it to be put your piston through there put your magnet in there
This is where you adjust everything and check out which lead should go where. Until you, when you're satisfied, you can say that's it, then you fix it up permanently. So, I'm putting a mains power supply there, as in like a nine volt, nine volt TC. What I'm think, what I'm saying is the magnet. This magnet might have to change direction, as it were, um, that way instead of the other way. Also, whether you put this lead to touch it or the next that one there, which lead goes on positive, which lead goes on negative, adjustments here, all these things you check out before you finally finish the project. Okay, once you've got it uh, corrected a bit and you've got the magnet in there, the wire in there, this wire is a single strand of wire touching that like that. From the coil and you put 12 volt battery in and you have it working you're just a few things here and there I've got a three millimeter by three millimeter magnet in there at the moment and that's what's working 12 volts and five millimeter um, magnet There's the there's the five millimeter magnet. Twelve volts using the three millimeter magnet. 